know in a traditional TED talk, you're supposed to stand here without any papers in your hands, but I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, I should have seen this coming, but I didn't realize that I'd have to give a welcome speech until yesterday. So. I wanted to welcome you here. A safari is a journey of exploration, and that really is what learning is all about. In the coming days, we'll be taking that safari together through some fascinating areas of learning and teaching. More than that, though, I want to tell you thank you for taking the leap and joining this safari. I am here to tell you that you are in the right place at the right time today. First, this is the right conference at the right time for international schools in Africa. It is the right time to safari in Africa with the ideas and philosophies that are embedded in the Learning 2.0 conferences. There is no other continent that values personal connection and social responsibility more than Africa. Those two values are summarized in the often cliched African proverb, it takes a village to raise a child. Connection and responsibility. And this is the time to bring those Learning 2.0 ideas to African international schools. 10 or 20 years ago, if you wanted to work in a good international school, Africa was not on your list, especially if you wanted to use technology. Our international schools in Africa had limited and aging facilities, few resources, and suitcase curricula that came and went with our teachers. People were often hired to teach English because they spoke English, or to teach science because they had a degree in chemistry. The primary reason for many to come to Africa in those days was the chance to take a truck safari to see the big five, not to teach in a good school. That landscape has changed. African international schools like ICS Addis and others, many others that are represented here today, don't make excuses any longer. We expect and are expected to provide a modern 21st century education. We're building, or preparing to build, modern facilities to provide an engaged network education facilities that any international school in any developed country would be proud of. We have the salary and benefits now that attract good teachers with good experience in good schools. Our schools have added laptop programs, iPad programs, network infrastructures, and other learning enabling technologies. So it is the right time for us to challenge ourselves with the ideas of social networking, personal learning networks, and other forms of engaged learning that technology enables. ASA, the Association of International Schools in Africa, embodies some of those ideals too. On behalf of the ASA board, and we have a couple of board members here, I am happy that we are helping to sponsor the first Learning 2.0 conference on this continent now. Second, Ethiopia itself is the right place and the right time for this conference. This conference is about learning, not about software or hardware. but. Technology enables much of the ways of learning and connecting that we will be talking about here. Well, 10 years ago, the 80 million people in Ethiopia were living on just 430 megawatts of power produced by two old dams built in the 1930s. Today, we have more than 3,000 megawatts of power, and within five years, if all goes as planned, there will be more than 20,000 megawatts of power 
produced in Ethiopia. All of them, by the way, 100% produced from renewable, sustainable methods such as hydroelectric, sun, wind, and geothermal sources. 5,000% increase within 15 years. Mobile data services were not available three years ago. Now you can use 3G or 4G networks throughout the city and in other towns and cities throughout the country. Small wonder then that Ethiopia is predicted to have the fastest growing non-oil producing economy in the world for the next five to ten years. I'm not a Pollyanna and I know there are issues and problems with all of the above here in Ethiopia. But there is immense and measurable progress and promise. And finally, you are here at ICS Addis, and this is the right conference at the right time for this school in Ethiopia. In 2006 at ICS, we had a tech support staff member whose, whose role at the school included printing out emails sent to the one email address that the school had, and then walking around the campus to deliver hard copies to the people they were sent to. In 2007, when the first Learning 2 conference was held in Asia, our school had its first dedicated copper 128K connection to the internet. Remember those days? And we began adding computers to our classrooms. Last week, I signed an agreement with our local telecom provider to double our fiber connections speed from 20 to 40 megabits per second. We are hiring teachers who want to grow and learn and who see ICS as a place that that can happen. Teachers who want to learn to use technology or teachers who already know how to use it to improve student learning. Teachers who value the kinds of connections and personal learning that this conference embodies. We're attractive to teachers who want to contribute and work with students who will one day make a difference in Africa and the world. So for all the reasons above and many others, I am very happy to welcome you to Learning 2.014 and to say you are in the right place at the right time. Thank you.